Are you ready to go shopping? Check it out. Check it out. Step inside a very special supermarket. The only supermarket in the world that gives you money. £2,000 is waiting on our shelves to be won by some lucky person in this store. Check it out. The aim of the game is to shop smarter and faster than the next person. And everything in this supermarket is up for grabs. Go on, fill your trolley as high as you can, because shopping has never been so much fun. Yes, there's prizes in store and much, much more when you play Supermarket Sweep. So let's welcome today's shoppers, who are Julie and Jimmy from Scunthorpe. Isabel and Chris from Nottinghamshire. And Mark and Jeannie from Stockport. You're all on Supermarket Sweep. And here's your host, Dale Winton. Morning, teams. Good morning and welcome to Supermarket Sweep. You know, we've got a supermarket full of the freshest, best products ever. And somewhere in the supermarket is £2,000 hidden in cash. And I hope that one of our teams is going to win it today. Will that be good? Yeah. <laughs> what you have to do is build up as much time on your clocks, because the more time you have, the more shopping you can do, OK? Well, to get you all started, I'll give you a minute each. There we go. One minute. And a little taste of what you'll be doing later on in the programme. We'll run what we call the mini-sweep. It's a good chance to gain an instant 10 seconds and a possible £25 to your sweep total. Are you ready? Yeah. OK, what product am I looking for? These are delicious toasted and dripping with butter. Round and sweet. What, Mark? Crumpets. Let's see if you're right. I'll finish it. Julie? Tea cakes. Sounds right, it is. 10 seconds. Great start to the day, the tea cakes. You've just got 10 seconds. Let's add it with a further £25. Jimmy, are you ready to run the sweep? Yep. Somewhere out there are the tea cakes with that logo. If you bring them to me within 30 seconds, I will add £25 to your sweep total. Are you ready? Yes, dear. Off you go. Now. Go. <laughs> Come away. I've been waiting for ages. What kept you? <laughs> what kept you? Did very well. Go back and join Julie. Well done. <laughs> I've just added £25 to your sweet total. That was well worth the run, wasn't it? OK, Isabel and Chris, good morning. Welcome to Supermarket Sweet. Good morning, Dale. I'm getting strange vibrations from you, Chris. Should do. That's because you're a clairvoyant. Yes, a professional clairvoyant. Right. How do you do that? Do you do the palm or the crystal ball or the tarot cards? Tarot cards. The, the mysterious tarot. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Uh, do, do, are you getting any vibration from me at the moment? Frustration, not vibration. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit early in the morning for that. <laughs> Welcome, anyway. Thank you. I mean, you. was it in your cards you're going to win today, or...? Oh, uh, it doesn't really work for me personally. I can no. only use it for other people. Right, OK. Well, and you're with your daughter, Isabel. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, Dale. Does she tell you things that are going to happen to you before they happen? She does, but I never listen to her, so... Oh, right. <laughs> Mother's love, there's nothing like it, is there? <laughs> uh, Jeannie and Mark, good morning, welcome to The Sweep. Morning, morning. Dale. Good to see you, good to see you. Now, uh, you're a vocalist, is that right, Jeannie? Yeah. And you'd like to be a game show host? I would. Oh, Still dear. a black lookout. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the singing? Who, who do you think you'd, you'd look up to? Who would you like to um, be? I like your rhythmic, Sunny Lennox. Oh, she's brilliant, isn't yeah. she? Oh, I like that in-between style, so... Yeah. I might aim a little bit like that. Great. And Mark, welcome to Supermarket Suite. You look very fit. Have you been working out for the programme? No. No? <laughs> Never at all. I just, um, I go fishing quite a bit, so I'll get the sun. Right. Good, good. good. Well, you look very tanned. Welcome to the Suite. I wish you luck. Uh, Jimmy and Julie, welcome. How you doing? Hi. All right, Dale. Oh, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a voice and a half, isn't it? Uh, Julie, I know that one of the things you, you, you're quite keen on is all the bad things in life. Yeah, anything fattening. But you don't have a problem, do you? Sometimes. According to Jimmy, I do. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And Jimmy, what about you? I mean, what, 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 what do you like most about your life? What, what do you like to do? Football, golf, anything horrible, drinking, smoking. <laughs> 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 it's 
to enjoy the good things in life, basically. Enjoy the good things in life. That's right. <laughs> well, welcome to Sweep. I wish you all lots of luck. Julie, Chris and Mark, we will see you a little later on for a game. But in the meantime, Jimmy, Isabel and Jeannie, step forward, let's play a game. <laughs> We call this one the random reveal, which means I'm going to give you the answer, but only one letter at a time at random. I'll give you a clue to help you along first of all, OK? So buzz in as soon as you know what the answer is, and a possible 40 seconds up for grabs. Here's your first one. Strange noises from the bathroom. Letter. T. S. N. W. U. H. Isabel. Mint mouthwash. That sounds right, it is. Ten seconds, well done. Sweet, red and round. Letter. G. E. R. I. S. E. I. A. Jimmy. Glazed berries. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Isabel. Glacier cherries. Sounds right. Ten seconds. Well done. Dull, but essential. Letter. L. O. A. P. L. I. R. U. Isabel. Plain flower. Certainly is. That's ten seconds. Well done. <laughs> Rich and creamy. Letter. C. S. S. C. U. E. 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 Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Uh, Jeannie. Cheese sauce. Let's see, it is right. Well done. Ten seconds. <laughs> Jimmy, it happens. What can I tell you? Let's play another that. game. Let's play another game. Now, this is what we call the, the before game. So, I'm going to give you three words, and I'm looking for one word which would go before all three. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Were I to say to you, Supreme, Kiev, and Wing, I'd be looking for chicken. Are you ready? Possible, possible 40 seconds up for grabs here. What goes before each of these? Spoon, bowl, cube. Isabel. Sugar. Sounds right, and it is. Ten seconds. Here's another three. Coffee, wash, wine. Isabel. White. Sounds right, it is. Ten seconds. <laughs> Biscuit, melon and chestnut. Jeannie. Water. Yeah, it's right. Don't look so worried. It's right. Ten seconds. <laughs> and your last ten seconds in the before game. Dew, comb, Jimmy. Honey. It is. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Let's bring back your partners for another game. OK, let's have a look at the time on your clocks. Julie and Jimmy, you have one minute and twenty. Mark and Jeannie, you also have one minute and twenty. And Chris and Isabel, you have one minute and fifty. So you're doing well. Jimmy, Isabel and Jeannie, we will see you later for the round robin, but returning players, step forward, we'll play a game. <laughs> the thing I like about this game is you can all pick up half a minute here. One correct answer, you get ten seconds, but if all three of you agree, I'll add a bonus twenty seconds, making a full half a minute, OK? Now, what I want to know is, which one of these three items in our supermarket costs more than two pounds. Which one is more than two pounds? Now, have a look. The rolling pin, the cheese grater, or the corkscrew, OK? So, if you think it's the rolling pin that costs more, enter one. If you think it's the grater, enter two. And if you think it's the corkscrew, enter three. Which one of those costs more than two pounds? Please make your choice. Julie, which one did you think? Number three. It's the number three, which is the corkscrew. Chris, which one did you decide upon? I totally agree, Dale. Number three. Number three, the corkscrew. And what about you, Mark? I've gone for number two. Have you gone for number two, which is, of course, the cheese grater? Well, let me tell you. The rolling pin today in our supermarket is £1.95. The cheese grater is £1.49, which means the corkscrew is the right answer. It's £2.49. That's the one which is over £2. So, Julie and Chris, you've just added ten seconds to your score.
quick recap on the scores. Let's have a look. Mark, you have a minute and 20. Julie, you have a minute and 30. And Chris, you have two minutes. You're all doing very well. <laughs> this is the game we call themes. So every answer relates to one particular theme. The theme on this game is Chinese meal. OK, possible 50 seconds for, you, for the taking here. I'm going to give you up to four clues to one answer I'm looking for. As soon as you know that answer, buzz in, and I'll reward you with 10 seconds. Don't forget, the theme is Chinese meal. Here come your clues. White, fluffy... Chris. Rice. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, 10 seconds. I was going to say boiled rice, but rice will do for me. Piano lessons, wood... Mark. Chopsticks. Yeah, clever clues, 10 seconds, well done. Round, hot, mark. Walk. <laughs> Ten seconds. You obviously knew what the answer was. Terrible line, terrible joke. Here's another one for you. Extract, salty, mark. Sim. Let's see if you're right. No. Chris. Soy sauce. Yeah, ten seconds. <laughs> Here's your last one. Starter. Seafood, flavoured, crisps. Starter, Mark. <laughs> I was going to say quavers. Uh, <laughs> prawn crackers. Uh, Julie. Prawn crackers. That's the right answer. Well done. Ten seconds. <laughs> Mark, you did say it, but after, after the buzzer the had gone, which meant that Julie got the points. But you've done very well. Let's bring back your partners. <laughs> Well, they did rather well while you were away. Let's have a look. Uh, Jimmy and Julie have a minute and 40, as do Jeannie and Mark, one minute 40, and ahead, Isabel and Chris, with two minutes and 20. <laughs> Great game, this. This is the round robin. You change places, a quick answer, I'll reward you with 10 seconds, a full minute, and it's your last chance to add the time on your clocks. Are you ready to play? Returning players, you're going to go first, so step forward. We call this round the video films. All questions related to films and stars what we find in our video section in the supermarket. Are you ready? Here we go. Tom Cruise starred as a pool hustler in this film, which is like... Jeannie. Cocktail. Let's see. No, that's not the right answer. Co Isabel. Colour purple. No, that's not the right answer. Jimmy. Come on, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. Ten seconds. Change. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer played opposite two brothers in The Fabulous Baker Boys. What is their family name? The two brothers. Mark. Lazy. Let's see if it's right. No. Still time, Chris and Julie, if you want to have a go. Still time. <coughs> the Bridges brothers, Jeff and Bo. Change. John Cleese plays a barrister alongside Michael Palin and Jamie Lee Curtis in this film about an aquatic creature. <coughs> Isabel. A fish called Wonder. It was a name. Ten seconds. Change. Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner are on the brink of divorce in this movie when they're assisted by a lawyer, Mark. Well, the roses. Sounds right, it is. Ten seconds change. <laughs> that was a good film. I enjoyed that film. Name the first of a trilogy of science fiction films created by George Lucas in which Luke Skywalker is what, Jimmy? Star Wars. Yes, <laughs> ten seconds change. And your last chance in the round robin. Name the movie in which Madonna plays a streetwise girl who becomes involved in Mark. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> who becomes involved in mistaken Julie? Oh. You can see her, can't you now? Susan, something. Chris, I'll finish the, the quote. Who becomes involved in mistaken identities? Desperately seeking Susan. Don't look surprised, it's right. <laughs> Ten seconds. OK, how much time are you taking out with you into the market? Well, Jeannie and Mark, one minute and 50. Jimmy and Julie, two minutes. Isabel and Chris, two minutes and 40. <laughs> so tell me, which one of each team is going to be running the sweep? Jimmy, Isabel and Jeannie. Come back in a few moments when we watch those three going wild in the aisles for the chance to go for the £2,000 here on Supermarket Sweep. <laughs>
So it's usually when I want to wear my favourite vintage dress that I realise maybe I should do my washing a bit more often. Because it's covered in all these weird mystery stains. I'm like, what is that? Coffee, right? Probably. So anyway, Mum sent down this aerial stain remover stuff to put in the wash with aerial, and it's like three times as powerful, apparently. Brilliant. And now the stains have gone and I've got my vintage dress back. <laughs> Aerial plus Aerial Stain Remover. Triple your power against stains. That's my Aerial. What's yours? With any three for two pounds on our British iceberg lettuce, tomatoes and cucumber, we've everything you need for the most wonderful time of the year. The Cooperative. Your Sky Plus box is even better when it's connected to your broadband. So plug in yours and transform the way you watch TV forever. You can enjoy the UK's biggest catch-up TV service and never miss a thing. Watch entire box sets on demand and rent over a thousand movies straight to your TV. So plug in your Sky Plus box today and you could watch more catch-up channels than anyone else. Entire box sets and rent the latest movies. Go to sky.com forward slash connect to find out more. Sky. Believe in better. Which dishwasher tablet has not only been chosen by millions of households, but can also help solve even the toughest grease cleaning challenges? And has been rated most effective dishwasher detergent by which in 2010? And 2011? And 2012? And now in 2013? Fairy Platinum. Put it to the test today. With any two for seven pounds on all these British barbecue favourites, we've everything you need for the most wonderful time of the year, the cooperative. Welcome to Sky Store. The easy way to rent over a thousand movies. From the latest blockbusters to all time classics. And the best bit is, you can rent them straight to your TV whenever you want. Sky. Believe in better. The warmth of your, love your songs, my scenes, were going to blow people away. We can't afford for you to stumble again. Some people still place a high value on integrity. I stand behind what you did 100%. Has he been playing me this whole time? You want to direct this show so much? Well, now's your chance. Because I'm done. Um, there's a performance going on upstairs, so could you guys, like, shut up? Smash! Next Thursday at 9 on Sky Atlantic HD. Or catch up on demand. Welcome back to Supermarket Sweep. Now, we've already seen our teams build up those valuable and vital minutes and seconds on their clocks. They're going to use that time to go wild in the aisles. Let's have a look at how much time they do have. Well, Isabel and Chris, you have two minutes and 40 seconds. Jimmy and Julie, you've got two minutes. And Jeannie and Mark, you have one minute and 50. But as has been proved so often on Supermarket Sweep, it's not as much as how much time you've got, but how you use that time. Everything in our supermarket today is for you. Grab what you will, you can take what you like off the shelves. But don't forget, knock a cameraman over and we'll give you a penalty. <laughs> it's true. And if you knock a, an item off the shelf, try and pick it up because you'll get a penalty for that too as well. Okay? Only three items of any one category. And I'm going to give you a shopping list now. If you bring me back all three items on the list, I will add £100. Let's have a look at what's on the list today. Well, I want you to bring me a box of frozen whole boned place, a pasta bolognese chilled ready meal, and ten dustbin liners. OK. Partners, keep reminding your shoppers what's on the list when they come back to exchange trolleys, because that £100 makes such a difference. You'll also find out in the supermarket some inflatable bonuses. They vary between £25 and £100. Pick one up, throw it on the trolley. It makes all the difference when it comes to your final total. Are you ready to go shopping? Yes! <laughs> Don't forget, the one with the highest total will be going forward for the chance to win the £2,000. So I wish you all lots and lots of luck. And we'll start with you, Isabel and Chris, first. If you're ready, I'll count you in. Okay. Three, two, one, go! go, go, go. Isabel and Chris take a 40-second advantage into the supermarket with them. That's the time they gained in part one. But she's got to use that time well. Oh, the trolley nearly ran away with her then. Nearly knocked over one of the cameramen, I think. Picking up the tea bags. 
Go on, Chris, give me encouragement. Isabel shopping carefully. It's uh, oh, it's, it's it's red sauce there. Something for the others to catch up. <laughs> oh, a barbecue. Can't have red sauce without a barbecue. Away goes Jimmy into the market. Look at him go. He's racing round, but he's not doing any shopping. Picked up some CDs. They're worth a few bucks. And there's the guitar bonus going in for Isabel. Where's Jeannie off to? She's probably looking for the items on Dale's shopping list. That's the whole bone place, the pasta bolognese and the ten bin liners. Toilet rolls there for Isabel. And here's Jeannie looking, I think, for the pasta bolognese, which is on the shopping list. Come on, Jeannie, they're there somewhere. Don't waste too much time. Jimmy's in the frozen foods. What is that? The ready meal section. What's Isabel doing? She's looking for something. She's definitely got her eye open for one specific item. Jimmy's looking for the bolognese as well. Picked up a camera mat on the <laughs> Ice cream for Jeannie. Isabel's still looking for something, very intensely. Jimmy's gone for the nappies. Jeannie is still in the frozen food section. Time's ticking away. Washing powder, I think, there for Jimmy. Disinfectant, there's a banana bonus for Jeannie. And car oil. Here's Jimmy, looking for that item on Dale's shopping list. Bin liners there for Isabel, that's good. Oh, poor folks. <laughs> Here's Jim, looking for the place on Dale's shopping list. Did he get it? I don't know, your place or mine? <laughs> Here's Jeannie, she's pulling a trolley backwards. That must be awkward. Here's Jimmy, he's all over the place, but he's got a last second bonus there in the shape of a fish. Jeannie's looking for those bin liners, has she got them? I'm not sure whether she picked up the right ones there. And time's up and it's back to the checkout. Come on back, come on back. Come on back. What a great sweep. Thanks, Bobby, for a great voiceover, too. Let's let uh, Caroline and Sam and Justine add up all those totals to find out which one of our teams is going to go for the £2,000. Come on back, Isabel. <laughs> Let's add these groceries up right now. Girls have added up all the totals. Let's see, Just is going to go forward to the final. Now, Jeannie and Mark, looks like you had a really good shop there. Now, did you do my shopping list? Uh, two. Two. I can't give you the £100, but you do have the banana bonus. How much is that worth? £50. Great, terrific. <laughs> we'll add that £50 to the value of the shopping in your trolley, which today on Supermarket Suite gives you a grand total of £152. <laughs> Jimmy and Julie, what a lot you got. My goodness. Uh, did you do my shopping list? One. One. No £100 there. But you got a mini sweep early. That's £25. What about your bonus? The fish Yay. is worth £100. <laughs> Glad you grabbed that. That gives you a subtotal of £125. Let's add that to the value of the shopping in your trolley. Gives you today on Supermarket Sweep a grand total of £319. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah. Isabel and Chris. Well, I guess, Chris, you tell me because you're being the clairvoyant, <laughs> you might know. But did you do my shopping list? Just one. One, two lonely portions of place. Never mind. You've got a bonus. How much is that worth? £75. That's a good bonus. That is your subtotal. Let's add that to the value of the shopping in your trolley. If it is more than £319, you are going to go and run the super sweep. If it is less, it'll be Julie and Jimmy. Well, let's add that together. Your subtotal of £75, added to the value of the shopping in your trolley, gives you a grand total day of £263. You've done well! <laughs> Julie and Jimmy, you're running the super sweep. You are. <laughs> Jeannie and Mark, Isabel and Chris, have you had a good time today in our shop? Brilliant, really. Yeah. I mean, you've done what I've always wanted to do, run around like crazy. It's really great. You'll get a lovely party gift for being with us today, and thanks for being such great company. Well done. <laughs> OK, are you ready? Yes. Somewhere out there in our supermarket is £2,000 hidden in cash. 
Something tells me you're going to go home with it because you did so well with very little time, really, when you think about it. So I think you know how to use your time well. You have to solve the clues that will lead you to the three specially marked products. Behind the third product is the £2,000 in cash. OK. Your time doesn't start. That full minute doesn't start until I finish giving you the first clue. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Here we go. If you want an easy barbecue, on chicken legs you make them chew. But if they want kebabs to eat, you'll need some blank to spear your meat. Go on. Where are we going? Jimmy! Get here, get... What are you doing? Oh, yeah, got it, got it. Got it. Let's go! What is it doing? Christmas, you give everyone some dance, some white meat. Stop it, come on! <laughs> cold you must eat afterwards, cold you must eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait! Too fair, there, that one! That's a colourful dynamic jam. Sponge, what you say? Say, it's jam. Sponge, sponge jam. Come on back, come on back. Oh, 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 oh. never mind, never mind. You're going to go home with the value of the shopping in your trolley anyway, so you did very, very well. You did really have a good time. Lovely. Where's the second cue? Where's the second clue? Let's have yeah. a look. There we go. <laughs> this colourful Germanic and geometric sponge in the centre and to all sides it has jam, which is surrounded by marzipan. Drink, it's a Battenberg cake. Never mind, never mind. You've been great. You win the money that you got in the trolley. Have you had a good time? Brilliant. Good. That takes care of another supermarket sweep. Join us next time. And remember, when you're at the checkout and you hear the beep, think of the fun you could be having on Supermarket Sweep. Have a good day. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, it's here. The reason your telly was invented. Prepare for Guinness World Record Smashed! On tonight's show, you're going to be blown away by superhuman flips. Steve and Connie on a high in a gravity-defying record attempt. And it's all going to kick off Kung Fu style. So get ready, make some noise, and please welcome your hosts, Steve Jones and Connie Hart. And welcome to Guinness World Records Smashed. We're on a mission to show the great British public the extraordinary, the skilled and the, well, completely raving mad. Yep, now some people will do just about anything to enter the Guinness World Record book, much like these guys. Yes, I give you rugby legends, Hiya. Kieran Bracken <laughs> and Martin Afire. They will both be here tonight to show off their skills. But, oh yes, there's a little bit of a twist oh, in a, a twist. way that you have never seen before. Now, even though I had it specifically written into my contract, Steve Jones will not be attempting any records because he's as brave as a tiny little girl. The people at Sky, they didn't care. <laughs> and that's why oh, no. Connie and I will be attempting a record every single week without fail. Indeed, but attempt often being the operative word. From the bizarre to the petrifying, we had to go. And if we can do it, then so can you. <laughs> In fact, all of you are going to be attempting a world record right here in this very studio later in the show. But right now, without any further ado, I think we should let the record smashing commence. Let's first put your hands together for some of the UK's top free runners. They are three runs. 